uh, you brought it up, and I want to I want to get into this right now about being concerned about Obama, the deterioration of the relationship between Obama and the Obama administration and Russia. We've entered a new Cold War. Yes, wow. we have. Somebody's stirring it up and wants it. That's right. And in Washington, Barack Obama just expelled 35 Russian diplomats, slapped new, slapped new sanctions on them, <laughs> and then he's saying, hey, we might do cyber espionage, cyber attacks against Russia. What? Are we crazy? But this is the same Barack Obama. If you go back to 2012, do you remember that famous moment in the presidential debate between Barack Obama <laughs> and Mitt Romney? And Barack Obama turned to Mitt Romney. Mitt Romney had been talking about Russia, that they were a threat, that they were a problem. And Barack Obama turned to him and said, hey, Mitt, the 1980s called, they want their foreign policy back, mocking Mitt Romney that he was saying Russia could be a problem. Now, fast forward four years later, all of a sudden, the Russians are behind everything, right? Hillary Clinton lost the elections. It's the fault of the Russians, you know? Something happened at some power plant up in Vermont. It's the Russians, you know? I woke up this morning, I had bad breath. It's the Russians. The Russians did it. All of a sudden, Russia has become enemy number one. One, and it's not only the Democrats that are saying this, many Republicans such as John McCain and Lindsey Graham, they're saying Russia, Russia, Russia. And you know what that one of the biggest criticisms of Donald Trump has become? It's that he's not anti-Russia enough, that he doesn't hate Russia enough. It's the new McCarthyism. Do you remember the McCarthyism oh, from oh, the yeah. 1950s? Well, now here we are, you know, in 2016, it's the Democrats leading the way. The, all of a sudden, the Russians are the big bad wolf. They're to the blame for everything, and, and they're the great force for evil evil in the world. And you know what? The Russians see us exactly the same way. They blame us for what happened in Ukraine, the overthrow of the democratically elected government in Ukraine, then immediately a new government, pro-Western government was put into place. They blame us for that. They blame us for Syria and so much of what's going on in the Middle East, and there's tension between our government and their government because then the Russian military went in and we didn't like that. And so that's another hot spot. All these things over in Russia, uh, you know, they talk about the United States constantly, and it's not in a good way. In fact, Gallup went over to Russia and took an opinion poll, and they asked, this was before the election, and they asked the Russian people, what is your opinion of current U.S. leadership, i.e. the Obama administration? And it came back, you, you want to know what the result was? Yes. Came back, the approval rating for the current U.S. leadership, the current U.S. government was 1%. In Russia, 1% approval rating for our leadership. And they openly talk about on their news broadcast how they're the good force for, they're the, the force for good in the world, we're the great force for evil in the world. They openly, there was a news broadcast not too long ago in Russia where they told people, if you don't know where your local nuclear bomb shelter is, you need to go find it because war might be breaking out with the United States. Wow. They're on their news broadcast, not on the Jim Baker show over there, on the news broadcast, they're <laughs> telling people, you need to prepare, you need to stock up food and supplies and water because war may be coming. And actually on their news broadcast, over there, one of their leading thinkers has actually called the United States the kingdom of Antichrist. Mm. Now, they believe it differently over there because they're Russian Orthodox, so they view it differently than how we look at it, but that's how they view us. They kind of view us in World War II, the big enemy was Nazi Germany, and, and they were the good guys, and the Russians actually believe they played the biggest role in winning the war, mm. um, and now they, they see it again, that once again, they've got to protect the world and, and fight for what's right in the world, but this time, instead of Nazi Germany, it's the United States is the big enemy enemy. Mm -hmm. So that's their mindset. Now we're catching up. You see the anti, among our leaders, among our politicians, there, many of them are fervently anti-Russian in the, and in the Pentagon. And this is what I'm concerned about because Donald Trump's saying, hey, I want to get along with Russia and let's hope that's the case. But he's going to be surrounded by all these guys in the Pentagon, which are tremendous hawks, very anti-Russia. They're going to be constantly in his ear. So unfortunately, sometimes with Trump, the last person he listens to is the guy he goes with. And he's going to be listening to all all these generals that are very, very anti-Russia want to blame Russia for everything. So let's pray that they don't sway him to, because, you know, Trump has a little bit of a temper. So at first it may go good, but then if Russia does something to upset him, well, you know, then it could go really bad. So let's pray for an improvement in relations, because right now, this is the worst we've seen the relationship with, between the United States and the Russia mm -hmm. since the days of the Cold War, mm -hmm. since the heart of the Cold War, maybe since the Cuban Missile Crisis. Wow.